Navi. Gator. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. A plus. Well done, Jacqueline. <laughs> All right, back here, it has already been a very busy weather day. Then we got a little bit of a break, even saw some sunshine later, yep. and oh, now yep. here we go again. Here's yeah. the thunder outside. Yeah. yeah, and it's only portions of the area. Ironically, downtown Detroit starting to get that thunderstorm activity as we've been watching Exact Track 4D develop some of these thunderstorms over the past hour to hour and a half. Let's go into portions of Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties. The strongest of the thunderstorms right around Hamtramck, working into downtown Detroit, then up 94 toward the Gross Point communities. It's on the stronger side of things. We could see winds upwards of 30 to 35 miles an hour and maybe half inch size hail as this thunderstorm moves across the river over into Canada, heading toward Tecumseh at about 1120. Keeping my eyes on the hail factor on this one, no severe thunderstorm warning yet, but we could see a few warnings overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. This complex of thunderstorms moves up into Macomb County as well. Thunderstorms from Chesterfield down toward Mount Clements, including Roseville, and starting to see some other rain showers develop in portions of Oakland and Macomb counties back into western Wayne County and even just to the east of Ann Arbor as well. We've already seen some heavy rainfall, especially in eastern Wayne County, southern Oakland, and Macomb counties. Because of that, the National Weather Service has now issued a flood advisory for all three counties until 3 o'clock tomorrow morning as we could see some minor water management issues once again as we go into portions of the overnight. We also have our heat advisory in effect for tomorrow until 8 o'clock tomorrow night for Wayne, Washtenaw, Lenaway, and Monroe counties as these areas could see heat index values in excess of 100 to 105 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. Tower cam looking across over into Bell Isle and then into downtown. We've been watching lightning in the sky over the past hour to hour and a half as these thunderstorms have intensified and they're all running right along the warm front, which is right over Metro Detroit. Thunderstorms very active in Canada, moving down into eastern and central Ohio and West Virginia, but we've been seeing some of that development into southeastern Michigan, what we call back building. That trend could continue as we go into early tomorrow morning with some of those thunderstorms strong to severe overnight tonight. The Storm Prediction Center continues our slight risk two out of five on our severe weather scale for all of southeastern Michigan until six o'clock tomorrow morning and then drops it to a marginal risk one out of five on our severe weather scale along and south of M59 overnight tonight through tomorrow. Damaging winds and heavy rainfall will be the primary threats, although we're not going to roll out some large hail and an isolated tornado as well. Clouds and radar keeps those thunderstorms into the forecast overnight tonight with that heavy rainfall potential at least through the morning rush tomorrow and still dealing with thunderstorms around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We get a break tomorrow afternoon with some sunshine and that really won't help our cause because clouds and radar develops another squall line of thunderstorms up towards Sandusky and moves it into the metro between 7 to 9 o'clock tomorrow night and we finally clear things out overnight Thursday into Friday morning with some sunshine to end the day on Friday. Keep that forewarned weather alert handy with that app overnight tonight and early tomorrow tomorrow morning storms to start the day. Then we dry things out and more storms tomorrow late afternoon into tomorrow evening. We had for 92 for a daytime high by late tomorrow afternoon. Rain showers stick around late Friday into early Saturday morning, but it's not a big chance of rain. Then more rain moves in for the middle portions of next week, but we're in the 70s through the weekend and into the first half of next week. We're going to be here all night long, keeping you ahead of this as we could mm. see some warnings overnight tonight. Got it. Okay.